is Tatiana Edgeworth. We're back with another video. Today we are going to be doing our at-home DIY Brazilian wax. I want to remind you guys that we are not a specialist. We are not an esthetician. We are none of that. We are just a regular girl who bought um, a waxing kit off of Amazon. And I've been doing this for faithfully about a year at home. So maybe I could just show you guys a little tips and tricks of what I do to do my Brazilian wax. So let me take my before picture okay guys let's go ahead and just get started um we're gonna take our underwears off if you guys are not into adult words please kick off this video i have the we have the tress wellness um pot if you want to go to one of my videos about my old like of when i bought it and everything go ahead and do that so it's on 165 degrees <laughs> Oh, that's hot. And I want to let you guys know now to make sure that your wax is thick. And boy, he's thick! Do not let it be watery. This is thick. If I back it up, is it fat enough? If it starts dripping like water, you need to turn your degree down and let it cool off. The first thing I wanted to kind of show you guys is like what I'm going to be doing on my um, arm. I'm going to go ahead and grab a little scoop here. I just grabbed a little scoop and I twirl it like this to where it can get nice and thick and bulky. And then we're going to go ahead, remind you, I don't really have hairy arms. We're going to go ahead. I've never done this before, but I'm trying to show you guys. Swoop it like that. Make sure it's always a swoop. You want to make sure it's always a like big circle um the beads do matter because a lot of people complain like oh hard wax first of all hard wax is the best wax that's why they do it professionally um it does not pull on your skin it pulls on the hair only so we're going to wait until this completely dries but i just want to sit here and let you guys know that i prefer hard wax because sugar wax to me i tried to do it i tried to buy it and it just never stuck onto my hairs and i never can pull that's just for me personally it is it's also not good to get that type of bacteria for ingrown hairs. Also, soft wax is the wax that you get from like the salons. That wax pulls on your skin. This wax for me is thick, beautiful, and you don't have to use no extra strips or anything. We're just gonna go ahead and yank it off. So what you're gonna do is, see right now, I can tell that it's hard. We're gonna grab this bottom piece because that's where the, the, the lip is at. So we're gonna grab this lip and we're gonna pull it like this. Dang, am I not that hairy? So, let's start with the vagina. Yes! Um, I have a ring down there, so let me take it out. Okay, so now that we're done doing that, we're gonna go ahead and get our pre-wax. This is what came with the kit. It also came with the after wax, but I have no idea what I did with it. So you can just add oil afterwards for like a soothing sensation. I also want to let you guys know that when you start waxing, I've been waxing for about three or four years now. Um, I want to say three years. I was waxing two years professionally and one year at home. And one thing I want to let you guys know that your hair is less and less. So the before pictures that you may see um, on thumbnail or at the end of the video if I decide to put them up. Just know that I have not waxed for at least six weeks but my hair is on the pelvic area. So you know how like, your, your vagina is like this. So in this pelvic area, it's not hairy that much. But when you get towards the labias, which is the lips, um, that's when it has more hair because it needs to protect your vagina. I'm going to go ahead and mix it. I hope you guys can hear me. For me personally, I don't even have my mirror. I'm tripping. So we're going to start with the, this is our vagina. We're going to start with the lining of it, like in between your legs towards the thigh area. Because just to get... You're used to um, you yanking your hairs out of your skin, so let's just go ahead and do that first. Usually I don't do that, but if you're new, go ahead and do that first, just so you can get prepared for it. I also do not recommend someone to do this if you do not get waxed professionally, because you have a hard time yanking your own hair. <laughs> Why didn't you put my pre-wax on? I'm tripping. Hello, twist, there's no strings, because it's thick. Lay it on you. Also, place a towel under you while you're doing this so you don't get any wax anywhere. Trust me, I have plenty of wax on my freaking chair because I decided not to do that in the beginning. So, yeah, make sure you have a towel under you guys. Also, you can wax standing up too in the bathroom. I'm just more comfortable of doing it in my room because <laughs> it takes me a while. So one thing I'm doing is I'm pulling my skin, my lip over to the side while I'm getting the thigh part and I'm kind of stretching because I want it to be directly on the skin. Um, I don't want any creases going on. I'm going to go ahead and fan it now to try to dry it. 
Um, just because it's time consuming to wait. When you're getting perfectionally done, you can do like different areas at the same time and then pull at the same time. But by myself, in order for me to like keep myself stretched, I like to basically dry myself up first before adding another one. But I am going to let this dry a little bit before I close my legs just a little bit to do the other side without pulling it so I can have two done at once. I was sitting here waiting for it to dry. I wanted to let you guys know that this takes me about an hour to do, sometimes 45 minutes because of the hesitation. It, I, yeah, so it takes about an hour. Professionally, it only should take you about 15 or 20 minutes depending if you're a crybaby or, or, or your pain tolerance. For right now, we're kind of like sticky, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the other side while that's finishing drying. Me being left-handed, it's hard to do my other side, but I'm just gonna make it work. I would advise not to touch it while it's still wet or too early because it becomes very stringy. And that's how you make a mess. Okay, so I hope you guys can hear the ticking. That's why I wish I had my microphone. But when it makes a hard sound, if you go like this on it, that means it's ready. You touch it, you tell it it's hard, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead, stretch that lip over to the side, because I'm on my left side right now. And I'm just gonna pick the lip up like I showed you guys on my arm. Just go one, two, yank. And then I didn't get all of it because it's a very long one. One, two, yank. I like looking at the hairs. <laughs> okay, other side. One, two, yank. Now, these are just the side of us. Let me show you what it looks like. Not just one piece. Right now, I'm about to go towards my pelvic area. So, here's a triangle of my vagina. Um, we're about to just hit like a corner. So, we're about to hit this like corner right here. Um, and we're trying to get like a big, bigger piece. That's how we get it done faster. Okay, so it's hard, so we're gonna go ahead and do the other side before pulling. And then we're gonna just go ahead and do that other triangle part towards the right side. And don't forget to create you guys' lip when you're um, having your wax placed, because you need to be able to pull it. And make sure you're thick. I will tag down the, the beads that I use, because I've noticed that the, the, beads, the beads do depend on the thickness of the wax. And the thicker the wax, the better it is for you to pull and it not be too flaky on your skin, if that makes any sense. Like sometimes people put it on them and it just breaks because it's too thin. So you want thicker wax. So I can go ahead and tag the wax that I buy. Um, and usually it's like it's only like 20 bucks or maybe some change. And you only have to buy it like every few months because you wax yourself once every four to five weeks. And then it lasts at least a good, I want to say at least six times. So you're good. We're going to go ahead and pull the left side now. I'm going to stretch. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm stretching my belly over to this side up. And then I'm kind of like leaning my leg down to make my skin stretch out. And then we're going to go one, two, pull. And I felt that. And one, two, pull. Woo! Woo! I felt that. And these are the hairs that if you guys see. So as the other one's still quite drying, I'm still gonna place another one on this side. So all I did was, instead of me having it towards like, towards the corner, we're just moving it over just slightly to get towards that middle strip because the other one's still on this side. So once we remove this one and place another one closer, we're gonna go ahead and go right down the middle. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the right side. Again, we're leaning that way and we're putting our legs stretched out that way. So after I pull the left side again and then the right side, we're gonna go ahead and go down the middle. Oh, I forgot about this part. So when you pull, and, and if you're very sensitive, you pull, so you pull, hold, and put pressure on it. And it's gonna help with the um, stinging sensation that it gives you afterwards. Now we're going towards down the middle of the pelvic area. So at this point, I have another camera, or you should see like the waxing on the side of how much I grab. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off because now you guys should see how much I use and what it looks like to grab it. Whew, I ain't gonna lie, that hurts. So right now I'm at the middle right here at the top, but not towards the bottom. So we're going like this, and we're having that middle part done first. It's gonna hurt, by the way, so brace yourselves. AKA uh, me, brace myself. Whew. I'm so intrigued with how much hair that is here. I'm gonna have to do it again. Actually guys, people use powder to keep yourself from sweating so it can hold on to the hairs and pull. I really don't do that. I just kind of like just pat myself down if I feel like I'm still kind of like sweating. I'm gonna start leaning towards the side because I get better lighting on my vagina that way. So don't mind. Two, okay. okay, so we're done 
Oh, my battery is dying. We're done with the top. This is the vagina. We're done with this part. And we're gonna go ahead and go for the lip and the lip. But I'm gonna have to find a way to put you guys on the charger while I do that. And I'll come back when we go to the inside of the lips. The labias, by the way, that's what it's called. So when we go inside the labia, I'm gonna go ahead and come back. My battery is dying and yeah. Okay guys, we are back from getting our outside of our labia done. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the strips that I did. This one, I kind of went in the tail of your labia, like your vagina is like this. Then you have like the insert of it, it's like that little piece. I just did a little bit of it. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead, we basically did like the outside of our labia, but now we're gonna go ahead and go to the inside of the lip. So I don't know about you guys, but I definitely grow hair inside of the lip. Now, just cause I'm feeling kind of spontaneous, I'm gonna lift my leg up. So you know, I'm gonna lean back a little bit, you know? So this part is a little harder for me because I have another ring down there. Um, We're gonna go ahead and try to, I, and I don't remove it, so we're just gonna hold my lips to my clitoris over to the side and then we're going to put the wax right in there like right on that lip area the labia because the labia is like really on the outside and towards the inside so we're gonna go right in there um towards the clitoris area and get all of that hair on the side this is the hardest part to pull for me at least um, it's like, oh, it's so sensitive. So honestly, I like to get the whole entire lip because I don't want to do this one twice. The second time is just like a cleanup one, but the first one's kind of like the. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and let this dry. I'm keeping my leg up towards the side, by the way, a little bit. I'm gonna pull this little piece. Now I'm gonna stick it back down. This one is not gonna be good. <laughs> it's always the lip, guys. It's always the lip. Sometimes I'll stand up and just go, yeah. So we'll see how I'm feeling. And I can't, by the way, um, do more than one at this point because I have to concentrate on one side and make sure I do it correctly. <sighs> and then I like to fill for the inside for my hair. I feel a little bit of hair, so I'm gonna have to do it again. This is what we're looking like, y'all. We're gonna do a cleanup strip. Actually, it doesn't need to be as thick as the rest of them. So we're gonna make it a little thinner. It's lickable. Woo-wee! This lickable! No, I'm just... <laughs> Woo, that was a good one. I'm gonna have to do another one because there's so much hair on there. She lips is looking good, baby. I'm about to get this booty. It's really not that bad, it's like right here. But basically now I'm leaning over. Um, I'm getting in and I have one leg up and one leg down and we're gonna spread them and get in between the middle part because you have hair like, your it's your vagina and you have like the labia. Then right in between that, between the butt and, and the labia, you have hair right there. So I'm getting all of that too. So yeah. Woo! And then that work. Ready to pull this strip. The lip. Ah! Okay, I think it's dry. Okay. One, two, yaga. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so funny for that. I don't know if you can see the little hair or something. I personally like to feel where the hair is at and then wax and the reason why i'm telling you guys this is because sometimes you just don't know so just feel for it maybe practice putting your hand there so that way when you put the wax on there you can go ahead and just put it on there better instead of having because this takes a while this is the place this is the position where your wax is going to fall on this towel that's why you need this towel or it's going to be on your chair or on your bed or wherever you're doing it just go ahead and do this last strip all right i think i'm ready to pull this last one Mm. I need some oil. Ah! 
Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did. I hope that I gave you guys some tips. I showed you guys my hairs. I tried to use proper terms. And I'm sorry if you're not gonna be able to hear me as loud because I'm not like super hyped like I usually am. Go ahead and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you want anything else like this video or any like, you know how to wax your armpits or whatever situation is, just go ahead and comment down below and let me know. If you guys go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. My name is Tatiana Edgeworth and I will see you guys next video. Bye, babes.